So hi there Cancerian, a very very good afternoon to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Cancerian Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed any time. Third thing, this is a reading from today till the 31st of July. So let's start your partner's current feelings for you right now. Or let's see, just give me a second, yes. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are cancer. Let's see what's happening. Okay, okay, cards are jumping for you. I feel someone is silent, not talking to you much or thinking about you constantly. Two of cups, okay. Somebody feels a soulmate connection with you and somebody is very clear about this that they are considering you as their soulmate. You are the one for them. This is someone who is very, very clear that you really possess the energy of being a soulmate. Wow, beautiful. Let me clarify the two of cups. They consider you as a beautiful soulmate energy and they feel like that's it. You are the one for them. Might be for some of you this person love wearing bracelets. Okay. Or bands or something like this. Let me clarify the two of cups. The Hierophant, the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So, oh, Tower, suddenly something is changing in their energy. Some kind of commitment is ending with someone. This person is feeling like they can end something with someone. This, this someone, some marriage or some commitment is ending and they feel like having a brand new beginning with you. Okay, might be they were having somebody else in their life, Cancer, and this person is now feeling like they can end the marriage and or a commitment with someone and they feel like they are very very clear and honest with themselves that you are the one for them you are the one made for them okay this is what they are feeling right now okay cool so you could be dealing with the gemini libra aquarius and taurus and cancer pisces scorpio let's see what you feel for this person cancer your feelings for them right now four of wands oh wow strength you are you're like holding back the urge to uh, say something to them you feel like you you should get married to this person you should you feel like having a, a long-term committed relationship with, uh, and or a marriage with this person this is what you carry this this is what can what the emotion that you carry for this person let me clarify the four of wands Eight of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Moon card. Oh my God! Ten of Wands. This is feeling like a heavy burden on your sit on your chest right now. You feel like working on this connection, but things are not working out, and you're constantly sinking into some kind of depression, some kind of negativity. It's like you feel like having a long-term relationship and a stable connection with this person, but no matter how hard you are trying, things are not working out. You feel like things always fall apart. You have a fear. You are carrying a fear that this relationship is never going to work out. This relationship or this person is never going to get married to you. This is something that is hurtful. This is something that's not making sense. You are carrying a lot of negativity around this situation. A lot of fear that this is not going to work out. You could be dealing with the Pisces or Scorpio or Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And Aries Leo Sagittarius. Let's see what this person wants from you. Let's see what this person wants from you, honey. Five of Wands, okay, and Queen of Swords, they want to clear the air with you, they want to end the drama, the fight, the internal conflicts, whatever drama, whatever fights are going to, going on between you guys, this person wants to end those, those fights uh, and those dramas and those negativities, okay, this person is feeling like this, there's baseless fights, these are baseless fights and these are, you know, stupid fights and uh, this can be sorted, let me clarify the Five of Wands. The Emperor, the Devil and the Justice. Oh my God. Page of Wands. They want to start from a friendship level. Just from an innocent level. I do see this person have decided that they are going to do justice within the situation. Regarding something that is causing issues between you guys. Regarding something this. Uh, regarding this third party situation here. They want to uh, clear the air with you uh, once for all, once and for all. It's like they want to do justice within the situation. They have decided that they are going to... Mm, talk to you very openly and honestly regarding this third party situation whatever the third party means it could be a toxic connection with uh, somebody else or it would be uh, it could be a marriage with somebody else and or a connection with somebody else that they need to end to be with you or you need to end to be with them it's like 
they want to clear the air with you very very honestly they want to end the drama and the fight okay because these are three major arcana cards this is something that is very huge and major happening in your life even if you are not feeling it right now this is happening behind the scenes the energies are showing that energies are shifting big time for you could be dealing with a libra capricorn aries or aries leo sagittarius let's see what you want from this person cancer what do you want from this relationship or from this person right now eight of swords okay you want to come out of this mental jail and you want to heal the situation you are constantly thinking about the situation and constantly thinking negative about the situation and you just want to break this jail and come out of it this is what you want from this relationship or from this connection let me clarify the eight of swords Four of pen, four of wands, and six of swords, and the king of pentacles, and ace of pentacles. Yes, you want to have a brand new beginning in this per, in this relationship. Clearly, cancer, and you want to get married, and you want to get settled down in this connection. Okay, and you want to come out of this mental jail, these issues that you guys are facing in this connection. You are like, I don't want any more tension. I don't want any more drama. I just want these uh, th things to work out for me. I want to have a peaceful solution to this problem, and I want to settle down. It's like you just want to settle down. Either you want to settle down this, this down with this person, and if they are not allowing you, or if situation or circumstances are not allowing you to be together with this person, you just want to be with yourself. You just want to move on from the situation and just heal yourself. Okay, this is what you want. Hmm. Got it. Let's see what's coming towards you till the end of July. So you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see what's coming towards you till the end of July. Cancer. Five of Cups, okay. Some kind of uh, sinking into some kind of negativity. Okay, I feel some kind of regret will be there. Somebody might be is going to break your heart, or you are going to break somebody's heart, or it could be internal regret or internal sadness that you are going to experience. I don't feel like things are going to work for you till the end of July. It's like things are uh, quite painful for you. Let me clarify the Five of Cups. Four of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Strength card. Yeah, you will be single and you will be independent. It's like I am going to work on myself. Okay, there will be confusion, there will be boredom, there will be an apology you are waiting for. You are waiting for some kind of news. Okay, and I feel like till till the end of Ju July you are you will be waiting only. I don't see something happening. I don't see some kind of news coming in, or I don't see the, you guys are going to get the solution that you are waiting for or you're looking for. It's like uh, everything is on hold right now, at least for the timing. Behind the scenes, things are going to work for you, but right now in the 3D, nothing is changing. It's quite painful. It's going to remain painful at least till the end of July. I'm not going to sugarcoat it just to make you happy, but I'm going to be very honest with you. Yep. So yes, Cancer Pisces Scorpio and Leo Energy and Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.